When it comes to knee pain and instability, there's one glute exercise that stands out above all the rest, and it's so effective, it'll make your head spin. No, seriously, <laughs> the exercise is called circles. It's similar to a clamshell exercise. You know the clamshell exercise where you're lying on your side, your heels are together, and you pull your knees apart by using your butt muscles. Yeah, it's similar to that, except this time you're on your feet. All right, now you should already know, and if you don't, I'll let you know now that everything is connected. So your hip controls your knee, controls your ankle. I think the clamshell exercise definitely shows that because as you contract your butt muscles, we see the knees come apart. Now when you're standing, the reason why people have uh, a knee instability is because they don't have a lot of control in their hips. So here's the exercise. You're going to be standing with your feet about shoulder width apart and you're going to go down into a squat position. Be sure that your hips are going down and back and you're not just pushing your knees forward past your toes. Now we are going to do the exercise to where you're turning to the left. This is going to be a 90 degree turn to your left. So right now, both feet are pointing directly forward. You're going to shift all your weight onto your right leg. You're going to lift your left leg and rotate your entire body, right? The left hip, the left leg, the left shoulder, you're turning your head, you're opening your chest. Everything is going to the left, except your right leg. You are going to be pushing your right knee as far as you can to the right. You want the body and your right knee to go entirely different directions, all right? Now, when you do that, you're going to feel a strong contraction in your right butt, all right? So be sure that you're leaving that right knee behind as you turn the, the whole body over to the left. You're going to place your left foot down, and you'll notice that it's at a 90-degree angle compared to your right, your right foot. From there, you can go ahead and pick up your right foot and turn the rest of the body to where everything is pointing in the same direction. And then you repeat. You will find that if you were to do that four times in a row, I was holding up three, if you were to do that four times in a row, you'll see that you've actually completed a circle. Now you wanna stay tuned because now I'm going to go through the pitfalls of this exercise because it is fairly easy to get it wrong. Now I've already spoke about where the knees should be and that should be more in line with the with your lower leg that is i don't want you pushing your knees over your toes you should be bringing your hips down and back as if going into a squat position just a mini squat you're actually not going so far down from here you just want to be sure that you're turning your whole body over to the left and of course, if you're trying to work your left knee instability and pain, then you'll be turning to the right. Same rule applies. You want to make sure that the leg that you're pivoting on is staying in one direction. It's very, very easy to see or tell if you have not turned the knee all the way out and away from the body, because as you plant your opposite leg down, just try pushing your knee further out and if you can, then that tells me you didn't really do a good job of leaving the knee where it should be while you turn the body away from it. I think if you were to get this exercise down, you know, watch this video a few times, you'll definitely feel your buns in the oven. That's your butt muscles. <laughs> and you'll also see just how much your hip controls your knee. You'll stop that knee from falling inward. Now that's huge because the more that the knee falls inward, the more you're going to be putting pressure on your meniscus, your ACL, your MCL, LCL, PCL, all these things, right? So if you can help to stop putting pressure on your knee by controlling where the knee goes by using your hips, man, it'll make your head spin. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching the video and definitely check out more of my content. Thanks for watching.